Uh, here we are. We're gonna get to Port of the Highlands. Um, it's gonna be uh, it's gonna be a three nighter. Um, three different sites. We're gonna travel a little bit. Short days though. Nothing. Nothing serious. First real solo trip. So hopefully I'll be just fine. And uh, ooh, it's gonna be warm. It's gonna be warm today. In my usual form, I forgot sunscreen. I always forget sunscreen. So, we'll see how that goes. And we're off. It's a beautiful day. Um, quite a few pleasure craft out here. Lots of people out in canoes and uh, paddleboard. Um, and lots of people getting out. Uh, we're seeing, I saw a few people loading out. Um, it's, it's gonna be fun. I'm trying a new stand for my camera. Um, puts it much higher up. I think it gives a better screen. Well, we'll see. Okay, so we're on Long Lake. Um, that's just south of Apsley in Ontario. Southwest a little bit. Um, we get a paddle. The Long Lake, that's what it is. So, right at the end is a portage. I think it's a 420 meter portage. Uh, not small, but not, not, not very big. And uh, we'll see how my portage game is. This is my second trip out on the kayak this year. Uh, I did a trip with Mama Bear. Um, we went to this park again, but a different section. It's a beautiful lake. I'm not quite sure why there's waves. Little waves. There's no wind. Um, and the boat hasn't been through here in a bit. There may be some motor boats on this lake. I surprised myself with my loadout this year, or this year, this trip. Uh, I expected I'd be fighting for fighting for space in the, in the hold. I um, have to strap some stuff to the top, but I managed to get it all nice and I actually have a little bit of spare room, so. Um, yeah, that's pretty good. We're halfway down Long Lake. Uh, beautiful. Absolutely beautiful, no bugs out here. Nice little breeze, very sunny. Gonna have crispy knees as usual. Um, we're heading right for that straight, that narrow down there, straight ahead of us. I don't know if you can pick that up properly on camera or not. Um, going right through there. And then uh, a little bit of narrows paddling. And then after that, uh, we hit the uh, portage for the day, the only one, 420 meters. Uh, from what I understand, it's a fairly easy one. So it's a pretty common one. Uh, first one off the big lake tends to get well worn. Nice and wavy now. So those are pretty good ones. Where the hell did that come from? I don't know where that came from. Yeah, it'll be nice to get away from the motorboats. They're fun and everything. I don't have a problem with them. I just don't like paddling on the same lakes as where they are. Uh, this kayak, uh, I don't know, maybe I'll, when we get to camp I'll, I'll show you guys what this is. Um, it's a Wilderness Systems Aspire 105. It's a 10 foot, 10 foot 5 
uh, wreck kayak. Um, it's about 48 pounds, so it's obviously not light uh, for a boat this size. Um, but it's so solid. I can just jump into this thing and sit down and not have to worry about tipping over. I'd have to do something pretty drastic. <laughs> so, um, and it's not the fastest thing either. Um, I don't really know how to compare because I really have never had another kayak, but, but the thing I really like about it is it's bulletproof. Um, I don't have to care about damaging this thing. I mean, you know, I still do, but um, if I had to drag this through a bushwhack on the ground, I would do it. Uh, it's not a problem. Um, and if I drop it or whatever, it's, uh, it's a tank. Tank and a little bit of a tub to paddle. Um, we're in the Narrows. There's a campsite over there on the left, on the right. I don't know if you can see that or not. I think that's the very first campsite uh, that you can access through this access point. Long Lake access point. As we get around this corner, we should get a glimpse of the uh, the next, uh, or the portage that I have to take. So, we'll check that out. I'm kind of thirsty though. I'm going to take a sip. Let's see the portage here. Maybe it's around the next corner. Unless the portage is right where those boats are. Yeah, that's it. That's our portage. Hmm. Not much. Not much room to get out. through here. And there we go. There we go. Well, I'm just leaving Long Lake and walking up. Uh, it's uphill, but it's really nice and pretty flat. I could have carted this probably. So, I thought I'd bring you along. This is how I carry it. It's over the shoulder. It's 420. 420 meters. Half a kilometer, almost. But there's some, there's pickup trucks up here, so there's an easier way to get here, I guess. Whew. Fortunately, the bugs aren't too bad. Not too bad at all. But as usual, I'm heavily. Buzzard Lake. I am on site 423. It's 
second side on the right. All right, shall we? How you doing? Good, how are you? Good. Can't beat it out here today. Oh, it's gorgeous. Isn't it? Yeah. Nice little breeze on the water. Oh, Perfect. Yeah. Keeps, keeps the bugs off. Yeah. Enjoy. Enjoy. Oh, nice hair. Uh, so here I am. Uh, got my hammock set up over there. Um, should be cozy tonight. I put an under quilt on. I put an under quilt, but uh, I'm thinking I don't need one. Um, got a nice spot for my chair. The shade. That's the site. That's site 423. It's pretty nice. I like it. It's all really warm out today though. Yeah, that under quilt. Maybe not. I got a friend here. He comes to visit. Um, see if I can get him to act a little bit for the camera. Hey buddy. I have to give you a name, don't I? Hey. He's just a little baby. Oh, my battery's almost dead. So. having a snack. I don't know what he found there. Looks like he found a peanut or something. Some kind of nut. Let's do a little, a little look at my setup. Um, so I use a um, I use a go camping hammock. Um, it's not fully set up yet. I still have to do the tie outs for it. One Tigris uh, under quilt. It's a uh, three season under quilt. And this uh, Go Camping Hammock 2.0. Um, that's pretty cool. I like it. Um, the screen ties out. I haven't done that yet. And then um, my tarp is a Martian's. Um, it's a hex tarp, and it's, uh, I think it's 12 foot, Hammix 11. Um, yeah, does pretty good. I don't even know if I need a tarp at all this weekend, but you never know. So, make it from there. And I set up very comfortable. I brought a sleeping bag. I feel like I'm going to be so warm, but, you know. I gotta keep an eye out for ticks because uh, the ticks really, uh, they're around here. Um, we were at Crab Lake uh, a couple of weeks ago and I got one. Uh, I, we had to get the tick key out, or the tweezers I should say, and uh, they're out here. So I haven't had any symptoms or anything, or and I haven't, uh, no rings, no nothing, so hopefully I'm okay. Uh, I did keep it though. I have it in a bag at home. So, anywho, I think I'm just gonna relax. We got a little bit Forty Creek and uh, some snacks, some peanuts. I'm just gonna sit over in my chair over there. Uh, 
enjoy the view, or maybe go for a swim before dinner. It's perfect for it here, and the uh, the um, the shore here is perfect for swimming. It goes deep really quickly, um, so that's really nice. So catch you guys later. I'll uh, I'll bring you guys back around probably around dinner time. Show you what I'm making for dinner. So, just making a little dinner. Um, I kind of screwed up. I forgot. I'm making uh, burritos uh, for dinner. Uh, two problems. One, I forgot the tortillas. Two, I forgot the cheese. So, they were all together in the fridge. Um, so, it kind of looks like I'm having beef and bean and peppers. Beef and beans and peppers stew soup kind of something. But check this. Uh, battery ran out. So, I was talking about this stuff. Um, this is genius. Frank's Red Hot powder form. Beautiful. I should have really just brought a little bit, but hey, I was excited. Uh, this is dehydrated beef with uh, almond flour uh, as a kind of, um, I don't know, thickener, I guess. Um, uh, there's some uh, dehydrated peppers. I think a different, couple of different colored peppers in there. And there's also some um, uh, dehydrated uh, beans, um, refried beans that are dehydrated into um, like a bark kind of thing. Added all that in there. Gonna add some uh, taco seasoning, maybe. A little bit of Montreal steak spice. Always bring a bit of that. And of course, I'll hit it with a bit of this as well. Um, Make best, make do with what uh, um, the best I can do really is uh, just try to figure out how to turn this into a meal without cheese and without uh, tortillas. So anyways, uh, I'll let you know how it goes. Okay, so here's, um, here's the trip I'm doing. Um, Put in right here, Long Lake, uh, Long Lake Road, um, and then I uh, paddled um, through the lake all the way to here. Sorry, I'm not that talented with two things at the same time. So, um, I, right here, there's a f uh, four 420 meter portage. Um, that was actually uh, pretty easy. Um, it's really kind of like an ATV trail. Um, there was actually a pickup truck in there, um, so not very, not very tough. A um, little bit of altitude gain, but not too much. And then I paddled into this site right here on Buzzard, uh, 423. Nice site. Um, I like it. I probably want to be back to this site. Uh, and that's it for today. It was fairly simple, straightforward. Uh, tomorrow things get a little bit more challenging, I think. Um, tomorrow the plan is to get up pretty early, um, head down to the end of Buzzard, where there's going to be a six, uh, 684 portage there. Um, right there. That one, from what I hear, is not that difficult. Um, pretty straightforward. So I'm not worried about that one. However, this one here, um, this one here I heard is a little tough. So um, I don't, I'm not quite sure what to expect out of that. Um, we'll get through there tomorrow. Uh, you know, it'll take as long as it takes. I don't mind taking my time because the paddling days are pretty short. So it doesn't really matter that much. Um, then cut through here and we're going to go through. This is Stop Log Lake. We're going to cut up through here, and um, in here there's a short portage here that's supposed to be pretty tough, but pretty short. So, um, not sure 
um, what that's going to be like. Um, but I've got some waterfalls here to look at and I've got some waterfalls up there to look at. And then I'm going to push through uh, here to my site for tomorrow night. Um, pretty straightforward, pretty simple. Um, uh, day three will be uh, paddling through here. If it's low water then I've got a long portage. Um, if it's if it's um, if there's enough water then there are a couple of really short ones. Um, go through looks like and then from what I understand here this could be challenging as well uh, for the third night. Um, if the water is low then um, it's basically a little bit of a bog and you've got to kind of work through it. If it's high it's nothing. Um, so we'll see. We'll see what that looks like. Get the secret lake. It's uh, sole, uh, sole site on the lake. So uh, lots of privacy. That'll be fantastic. And uh, on day four then I'm just going to head right back out right down and, and all the way there and head home. That's the plan. Um, let's see how it goes. Uh, I don't foresee any real serious challenges here. Maybe just a little bit of the the portaging, um, t uh, sorry, here and maybe a bit here and then if the water's low this might just be a bit of a trudge. Um, so anyways that's the trip. Nothing uh, extravagant as far as distances but uh, gives me a little practice with the kayak, a little bit of portaging, a little bit of relaxing, um, get the season going. I got a tomogamy trip. Um, here let me flip this around. A, oh, here we go. We've got a tomogamy trip uh, planned for the last week of July. Um, heading back into the general vicinity of um, where we were last year. And um, looking forward to that. That'll be a week long. And uh, we're taking the kayaks again. Uh, we're suckers for punishment. So, But, you know, last year was a fantastic trip. Um, There's some stuff to complain about as far as effort levels. <laughs> Um, but but at the end of the day it was pretty pretty awesome so um, so we're going back there a uh, bit different route bit slightly different area uh, but not too far away from where we were so we'll see how that goes so, um, I'm just gonna wind down I've had dinner I've um, um, cleaned up a bit I got uh, all of the basic stuff done before bed uh, even though it's really early um, lots of lots of deer flies. No mosquitoes yet though. I expect they're gonna swarm out pretty soon. Um, which is why I wanted to get everything ready so that I could just dash into the hammock and, and just wait out <laughs> the, the mosquito swarm. Um, so we'll see. But right now it's the deer flies. <laughs> um, Alright guys. Uh, I'll probably sign off a little bit later tonight and um, hope I get a nice sleep. I'm a little worried I'm going to be a little too warm. I've got a sleeping bag and an underquilt and I think it's going to be around 19 degrees uh, overnight so I may be sleeping on top of the sleeping bag and might have to shove the underquilt away. Um, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. So, Alright guys, take it easy.